Sacral sparing. Sacral sparing tests can be used to indicate the presence of an incomplete spinal cord injury. With complete spinal cord injury, the patient will develop complete motor and sensory loss below the level of the injury, and that's Asia A. There will be no sacral sparing, and the bulbocavernosus reflex will be present, which means the patient is not in a spinal shock. After the spinal shock disappears, as evidenced by the return of the bulbocavernosus reflex, the patient with apparent complete spinal cord injury must be examined carefully for the presence of sacral sparing. How do you do the bulbocavernosus reflex? Will be a finger in the rectum and pull on the glands penis or the Foley catheter and see if you can feel something with the finger in the rectum. The presence of any sacral sparing indicates an incomplete spinal cord injury. Sacral sparing can be sensory or reflex or motor. Sacral sparing can be evaluated through three tests of grade 2 flexor activity, rectal motor function, and perianal sensation. The best one of them is the sensation around the anal region. If the patient maintains sensation, if the patient feels around the anal region, this is known as sacral sparing, and that is very good. And here, the sensation in different regions, so the perianal sensation and the genital area will be around S4, S5, the ischial tuberosity is 3, the platial fossa is 2, the lateral heel is 1. This is how you test it. We are interested in S4 and S5, which is the preanal sensation, because basically the patient would not have any motor or sensory below the level of the lesion, so we go with check for the small little tiny area of sensation around the perianal area. Sacral sparing indicates a favorable prognosis for recovery. Why is that? Why there is a favorable prognosis if you have sacral sparing? Because the spinothalamic tract is near the lateral corticospinal tract and preservation of the pinprick sensation will predict recovery of some of the motor function. Sickle sparing really does separate complete from incomplete injury of the spinal cord. If the patient has sickle sparing, it is considered Asia B. In Asia B, the patient is incomplete which means there is no motor function below the level of the lesion. However, there is a sensory function that is preserved below the level of the lesion, including S4 and S5. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.